Okay, we are making some flour here today. On the, this is 12 person unit, we just got one person on it. Goes to that gearbox, this flywheel. We've got a PTO shaft here. We're hooking on the back of this motor. And we've got some grain. It's going through this grinder. And we're making flour. See the flour. We opened it up, some of the small pieces got in there. The wheat grinder also disconnects very easily. The weight of it keeps it on there. You can just lift it up, detach, detach the belt, store the belt out of the way. You can grind well, you can make power, wash clothes. Um, shell corn, whatever you want to do, pump water without the grinder hooked up and going. Then we got the shaft goes straight through to a four speed transmission. So I'm using for a gearbox which goes to a 500 watt generator and I can just put that in gear. And now we're making electricity. Going through that shaft, through that transmission, the energy is being stored in that flywheel. And we can take the grain grinder off, or we can take the transmission out, we can put it in neutral, we can shift it to a higher gear, whatever we want. This is a corn sheller. I'm going to hook up also to the same shaft so you'll be able to take the generator off. Just the corn goes in there and Got a little flywheel on it, and the drive line will actually hook right there to the, the, the shaft, and that will shell enough corn. The corn just drops out the bottom, and then the cob comes out this end. That will shell a bushel of corn as fast as you can shove it in there. Okay, this just show you how fast this will shell corn. So you're just going to drop a piece in there, and it'll instantly drop out the bottom. Go ahead. It instantly takes off. Then from there, that will go into the grinder and make flour. Wow. Here's where the cob comes out. It just once they pile up, they just start shooting them out, and you can see that's what it does. It takes every bit of corn off them. This is a transmission off of a washer machine, and I'm also going to hook a, a shaft to it. If you spin this one way, it'll oscillate, and if you spin it the other way, it will just spin. So I want to uh, try a, hooking a washing machine up to it, and also a water pump that will pump water. will come off this same shaft right here that is driven through the drivetrain there. Another feature this has is that you're able to lock it. So basically that's the key and you just stick that pin in and locks it so it can't turn. This also can be pulled with a truck. This is a floor jack. These are ax this is an axle here. You can just jack it up with a floor jack. It's got an offset so floor jack will fit underneath there. And those are the tires over there that go on it. Then once you have the tires on it, you can come up here to the front this is a bigger bench, it fits six people on it. And you can set the jack right there and lift it up to the tongue. Now if you want to ship this thing, this, these are the two small benches. They come undone right there. 